So in this video, it's going to be relatively short. Uh, um, unlike some of my videos, it's not going to be speed painting. I'm going to try and show you in real time, um, at least mostly in real time, and explain sort of what I've uh, what I've been doing over the past year. I've been revising my methods. Um, I've got uh, sort of a more expedited way to do my Grisel. Um I didn't do it uh, to save time. It just the saving time happens to be a beneficial side effect of it. Uh, I wouldn't ever recommend to anyone doing something just for the sake of saving time because I think that's a wrong, it's a wrong out, uh, approach to life in general, to be honest. So, um, without uh, battling on any more than I already have, let's get to it. So what I've done here already um, to prepare for this is this is just mineral spirits and um, we have uh, ivory black and titanium white. This is pure ivory black, this is pure titanium white, and all I've done is just mixed a middle value. Now it's not just 50-50, it's um, mixed to match what I'm considering, um, well, excuse me one second, what I'm going to consider to be the middle value of this olive, basically um, not in shadow, not in the highlight. So just I would say this area right here is what I've mixed that to be. Very approximate, does not need to be exact at all. Um, we can work on that later on in the process. And so that's all you need. So for this part of the painting process, I'm going to be using this um, angle brush. Uh, I like to use this one a lot or similar sizes like this for glazing um, just because it's my preference. Any flat or, or angle or bite, um, I'm sorry, bright uh, brush would work. Um, it just needs to be um, soft bristle. That's the main thing. So what you want to do is take your mineral spirits, leave it close by. Um, this paint, this is Old Holland paint, okay? I recommend Old Holland Classics or Williamsburg because they have very little medium in them. They're basically dry paint out of the tube. I like to control what goes into my paint. So we want to dip the brush in mineral spirits and then bring it over here into the um, mid-tone that we've mixed. And you want to have it thin enough so that as you move it around here, you can basically see the brush marks through the palette. Um, it's really <laughs> kind of hard to explain exactly how you want it, but you want to be able to see about 50-50 paint to palette. Once you get the paint to the proper consistency, what you want to do is put an even coat over the entire area that you're about to paint. Um, you sort of have to work, I'm just going to get more paint here, you sort of need to work quickly with mineral spirits. This stuff dries fairly quickly. Um, and it won't blend properly the drier it becomes. So I'm trying to stay in the lines for the most part. It's not really that big of a deal because this is all going to get painted over several times. But for the sake of this demonstration, I'm just trying to be a little bit neater than I might actually usually be. Okay, so you can see that you can still see the uh, umber layer underneath this painting. That's the difference, the main difference in the way I used to do it. I used to paint, at this stage, I used to paint completely 100% opaque over this umber layer. This allows you to also leave some warm tones on, um, if you want to leave some warm tones of the umber painting when you're done. Okay, so I'm trying to go fast. So I just basically evenly coated that. Now I'm going to take a, I'm going to take a very soft bristle brush and just smooth out what I already did. So it's actually even going to wipe more of this painting off. And again, here, this is going to cause you to get some paint outside the lines. Not a big deal. Not a big deal at all. Um, in fact, that's part of the uh, appeal to it later on. Okay, so I've done that. You can barely even tell. Now I'm going to take back a little bit of the... I'm going to take a little of my titanium. I've put it on a round brush. Okay, this is a Kalinsky brush, very soft bristles. This is pure titanium white. I'm going to take this now and put it back into the lightest of the light areas. My phone's going off and it's kind of too late because I can't refilm this now. But So I'm looking at my photo reference here and um, I'm just going to fill in just the lightest spots, nothing else. So not necessarily highlights, although I am putting it sort of in the highlight area. You don't really necessarily want to do highlights at this point, but you just want to sort of just go back and get the very, very, very lightest spots. And you also have to remember that this is a several 
layer process. So it does not need to be perfect right at the very beginning. Um, there's a spot right here. This is just going to get better and better after you get 12 layers of, um, after you get 12, you get 12 chances to get this right essentially. Okay, so that's all I need to do right there. That's it. Now I'm simply going to just take this brush, I'm just going to clean it off, and then I'm going to go back to my palette and I'm going to get pure ivory black. Now when I'm putting this paint on here, I'm putting a small amount of mineral spirits. You don't want to put a bunch of mineral spirits back into this because it'll just pull up what you have already down. You want to, um, you really want to use this as undiluted as possible. Um, and that'll come with experience as well. Now, I'm going to take this pure ivory black and I'm going to do the exact same thing that I just did with the highlights except only on the, except for the shadows now. So the darkest areas, I'm going to re-darken them. Only the darkest areas, and I'm going to get more paint. Um, that was a little dry, so I'm using a little bit more mineral spirits. Um, and um, I'm reestablishing my lines here as well. Um, I don't want to lose. You spend a lot of hard work getting your lines in the right place. Um, so I'm just that's what I'm doing. Um, only the darkest place. You don't have to repaint this entire olive every single time you do this but you just want, because this is gonna build up, the effect will start to look um, the way it's supposed to look over the series of the painting after several layers, not um, in any one particular layer. So I'm sort of just being careful with what I'm doing here. Um, there's a little bit of black up here. Um, that's really probably on the next dial level. I'm not gonna worry about that too much. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit more to go here. I'm trying not to talk too fast, but you have to sort of work a little bit quickly here. Um, it's not the end of the world if it dries. It's not at this point. It's it's not that hard to undo. Okay, so that's probably all I'm going to do there, um, and then this area here, a little bit, a little bit more mineral spirits. Here, we're going to make this shadow very crisp. This line needs to be very crisp to this point. Okay. Okay, now I've got the darkest spots painted back in right there. Now I'm going to put this brush down and I'm going to get a small little mop brush. Um, I've been using this a lot. You can use a, you can use a flat brush. You can use a, lots of different kinds of brushes. Um, I sort of use this almost like a charcoal pencil. You'll see. So I can take this here and just sort of dip it into the pure ivory that I've put down, and I can spread this around just like you would with the pencil, like if you were shading with the pencil. Um, it's going to do a little bit of damage sometimes, like it just did right there to my initial white. That's because I have the the mid-tone that I glazed on at the very beginning was a little bit too diluted. should actually be a little bit thicker than this, which is why I'm practicing this video right now. Um, I'm going to work on it, getting it exactly, so I don't mess up for you. But um, Okay, and so that really, you don't, we don't need to do too much more than this. And it seems like we haven't done really much of anything, probably, if you're not used to painting like this. Um, we're going to extend this shadow out. Now, when you're doing this umber layer, which I didn't show in here, uh, because of this new method, I didn't used to spend that much time on the umber layer. This Doing it this way, though, I spent a little bit more time on the umber layer, just getting it a little bit more, um, just getting it a little bit closer to where it needs to be. I used to do much more, uh, a much looser umber layer, I get it a little bit more detail now. It took a little bit more time, but because I'm doing this next part in layers, it um, it actually takes less time. Okay, so I'm going to leave that for now. I'm going to go ahead and do the other one. So I've diluted this with mineral spirits like I did the, on the very first portion of the olive. Um, I'm just trying to do the olives right now. I'm not, I'm not going to paint into the uh, water, water line here. Um, although I'm also not going to take great care in not painting into that. So I put this on um, somewhat transparently and then I'm going to lightly brush it off again. You don't want to wipe it all off, um, but you know that does happen and 
again, that's it's all part of being patient, and um, you know, that's just part of the ball game. Okay, and so you can see how it's just sort of misty looking. Is basically what happens. I'm gonna. Uh, I like to do the highlights first, even though I already had black on my brush. And again, you know, the smart thing would be just use different brushes, but um, I don't actually like to do that. <clears throat> personal preference. So now I'm going to take the ivory white again and I'm going to take just the lightest colors here. Um, just the very top of the grape that's getting light. Um, and now I painted these splotches in here in that um, umber layer which you know is just not really necessary uh, because it's going to get painted five times. Okay now there aren't many highlights in this um, so I'm going to blend this back in before I put the black because I want this to be uh, very smooth. Um, I'm going to smooth these out. What this does also is um, during the throughout the griseo, eventually your lightest areas will be pretty much opaque and they won't have this warm umber um, showing through whereas the darkest areas might have a little bit of the warm umber if you want it to be showing through you can let it show through. Now that's probably more important on skin if you're doing a portrait. Um, in fact, well, I'm not going to say that. So yes, it's probably more important uh, if you're working on skin. Now this light, this for example, this light area right here, I'm not even going to touch with white paint because it's actually going to be darker um, than it is right now probably in the end. So now I'm cleaning off the uh, cleaning off the ivory and I'm going to put, I'm sorry, the titanium, I'm going to put some pure ivory black back in there. So I'm going to, again, like I said, um, I'm going to just do the darkest areas um, and not worry about it being perfect, a uh, little, the little detail, there's little grooves here and there, not really worried about that, I just want to re-darken the dark spots, like especially right there, I don't want to lose that line. I don't have my uh, mall stick handy, but I just want this black darkest spot to stay there. And I'm just going to go around here a little bit more. This is a, lot, a little bit more shade. Now I'll show you how I fix that in a minute. And again, leave that subtle there. Okay, now the very outside of this, I keep calling them grapes. I hope I haven't done that. They're olives. I keep wanting to call them grapes for some reason. I don't know if I've slipped up and done it or not, but they're olives. It's a martini. Okay, so that. It's actually a dark line running through there, but it's really the water. So I'm going to do that later. I'm going to leave that alone. I'm going to take my mop brush on. Now I, I want to keep this clean too. I'm wiping off the uh, white paint that we had in there. Now I want to make this shadow here a little bit more gradual. Now before I would just paint this with different, you know, I would mix up eight colors and I would just put them in their place. And um, that works perfectly well. I, I actually just like the way this looks better because it starts to look smooth and I don't I just like the way it looks better. I don't really have a very good explanation or what a very specific um, explanation as to what I like better. I just like the look of it looks more finished sooner on um, and it makes it easier in the other la later on to um, get the effect that I want. I'm gonna put some more black right there. That's not. After I blend this, I'll take some of this paint and put it right there. Um, and then I'm going to blend this in a little better. I just got a brush here. Just going back through here and spreading this out. This line should be a little bit sharper. Again, that's a mistake right there. That's okay, that line goes across. Later, that'll make sense. Just trying to keep the darkest spots dark. Because I'm going to glaze on top of these again, and they're gonna lighten again. So that's the whole reason that you, it seems like you're doing work twice. 
Um, and well, I guess you are, but um, there's a reason for it in the, in the end, it, it sort of makes sense.